In 2028, Los Angeles will host one of the world's biggest sporting events, the spectacular Summer Olympics. In preparation for the event, the United States is taking on an ambitious project to connect Las Vegas and Nevada with Rancho Cucamonga, just east of Los Angeles and California. Hey, welcome back to Talktive. And yes, you heard that right, the US is taking yet another shot at building a high-speed railway. But can they actually pull it off this time and complete the project within the remaining four years? The proposed railway spans just over 350 kilometers and is designed so that 96% of its route runs within the median of Interstate 15. Here's how the route is planned. Starting in Las Vegas, the first station will be near the iconic Vegas Strip, situated between Interstate 15 and Las Vegas Boulevard. The next stop will be the Victor Valley Station in Apple Valley, located in San Bernardino County, California. Another station will be in Hesperia, also in San Bernardino County, serving primarily as a local rail hub for high desert residents traveling to the greater Los Angeles area. The final stop will be the Southern California Station in Rancho Cucamonga, conveniently located near Ontario International Airport. The location already offers transportation options like the Metrolink, connecting travelers to downtown LA and other parts of Southern California. A trip from the Vegas Strip to Rancho Cucamonga typically takes around 3 hours and 40 minutes by car, but the high-speed train traveling at over 320 km per hour would cut that time to just 2 hours and 10 minutes. If completed, Brightline West would be the first true high-speed rail in the US. The idea for this project dates back to the 1990s, when Nevada and California explored building a maglev train line linking Las Vegas to Anaheim. In 2005, a company called Desert Express was founded to develop, construct, and own a high-speed railway project. Later rebranded as Express West, the initiative faced significant hurdles. Federal funding was never secured, and an environmental impact study was never completed, leaving the project stagnant. However, the vision of connecting Nevada and California with a high-speed train was never entirely abandoned. In 2018, Brightline, the intercity passenger railroad company operating in Florida, acquired Express West. By 2019, now operating under the name Brightline West, the company announced plans to construct a non-maglev, high-speed rail route connecting Las Vegas, Nevada to Victor Valley, California, with no intermediate stops. According to Brightline West, these high-speed trains will be fully electric and produce zero emissions. They will operate using an overhead catenary system, which provides a steady, clean power supply. This power will be sourced from large solar farms in the Nevada desert, making the train a significantly greener travel option compared to flying or driving. Each year, approximately 50 million trips are made between Nevada and California, with 85% of them by car. Brightline West aims to reduce this car traffic by over 1.1 billion kilometers annually. This shift could lower carbon emissions by up to 400,000 metric tons each year. Additionally, the company hopes the train will benefit people in nearby areas who can't afford to relocate closer to job opportunities or endure long daily commutes by car. The Brightline West Railway is not only a major step in reducing carbon emissions for Nevada and California, but it will also provide a more reliable travel option between the two states. For instance, it could alleviate disruptions like the July 2024 highway shutdown caused by a truck crash on Interstate 15. The seven car trains will offer free Wi-Fi, stylish seating, premium cars with more space, and a bar and party car. Siemens Mobility will begin manufacturing the trains in 2026 at a new factory in upstate New York. However, the key question remains, will the project meet its ambitious goals and stay on track? With the Summer Olympics just a few years away, construction of the Brightline West High Speed Railway officially began in April 2024, with the goal of completing it in time for the event. This project could boost tourism by offering an easy travel option for Olympic spectators flying into Los Angeles to visit Las Vegas. Construction crews are currently working in the Mojave Desert, with survey and geotechnical work underway in southern Nevada. The rail line will require over 160 structures, including bridges, and a 19,000-square-meter maintenance facility is planned for Sloan, Nevada. There's still plenty of work left to do, but the company doesn't seem too concerned about the tight timeline. They argue that as a privately initiated project rather than a government-led one, progress can happen more efficiently. But how exactly is this ambitious railway being funded, and what are the numbers involved? The total budget for the Vegas high-speed rail is estimated at around $12 billion. Of that, approximately $9 billion will come from private funding. While the remaining $3 billion was awarded by the Biden administration in 2023, 
as part of the bipartisan infrastructure bill. However, with potential changes in federal leadership on the horizon, state leaders like California Governor Gavin Newsom are pushing to ensure that projects like this remain on track. He recently traveled to Washington, D.C. to lobby for California initiatives like Brightline West, which depend as much on political backing as they do on engineering to navigate shifting federal priorities. One of the most immediate benefits of a high-speed rail connection between Nevada and California is its potential to serve spectators and tourists during the 2028 Summer Olympics, provided it's finished on time. And of course, it will significantly reduce travel time between the two states. The Brightline West project offers significant economic benefits, including billions in revenue and an additional billion in tax income. It is expected to create over 35,000 construction jobs and 1,000 permanent jobs. The railway will also provide transit options for disadvantaged communities and help reduce CO2 emissions, potentially saving the equivalent of 16,000 short-haul flights annually. The goal is to make the project 100% emission-free by 2045. While there are some challenges such as a federal lawsuit from Alstom, they appear relatively minor compared to similar projects. Alstom claims it should have won the contract to produce Brightline's high-speed trains over Siemens Mobility, arguing that it complied with the Buy America Act. While Alstom is a French company, they built a plant in the US where they produce Amtrak trains. The Buy America Act requires that items or materials being procured must be sourced from within the US in sufficient and commercially available quantities of satisfactory quality. However, the act allows for waivers if the cost of acquiring domestic products is considered unreasonable. Alstom argues it could have manufactured all 10 high-speed trains on US soil, but Siemens won the bid. Thanks to the waiver, Siemens will build the first two trains in Germany, with plans to manufacture the remaining trains at their New York facility, slated to begin operations in 2026. Brightline West has already received full environmental clearance and will be privately funded and built with union labor, avoiding government bureaucracy and labor union issues. However, a key concern is whether the project will be completed on time, especially in light of setbacks faced by the California High Speed Rail, which was supposed to be finished by 2020. The California project encountered challenges such as route changes, cost increases and delays, with the estimated cost ballooning to $33 billion in 2008. New estimates now place the total cost of the project at over $100 billion. For comparison, there's also the $30 billion high-speed rail proposal in Texas. Feasibility studies are still underway for the Texas route, meaning it's not as far along as the Brightline West project. Given this, the Brightline West Vegas Railway has a solid chance of being completed and becoming the first true high-speed rail in the U.S. The four-year timeline is its biggest challenge, but that short time frame could actually help limit cost overruns. Additionally, there's potential for future expansion. It's already been proposed that the Brightline West high-speed service could eventually extend from the San Bernardino line all the way to LA Union Station. Now, this would cut out the Metrolink connection and provide people with a one-stop direct route between Las Vegas and Los Angeles. The companies also propose connecting Palmdale in California to Apple Valley through the high desert region. And in the future, they would be able to connect with California high-speed rail so that one day people can enjoy a one-way trip all the way from Las Vegas to San Francisco in Northern California. But what do you think? Are you in favor of building more high-speed rail lines in the United States, or could that money be invested elsewhere? We're excited to hear your answers. And for more, check out our channel for upcoming and completed mega projects. As always, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.